What up, guys? This is me, Chandu, and welcome back to another brand new video. So, in this video, we're going to discuss about how can you make one chatbot using Python. So, this is the demo application, and this is uh, built by using Python and Flux. That's been the micro framework Flux. So, let's say hi, and you can see hi. So, let's say hello, and you can see hi there. So, let's say what is your name? So, let's say my name is knowledge doctor bot so in this video we're going to make this one and you're going to actually make the main functionality to actually creating the chatbot and then in the upcoming part we are actually building this web app so let's get started and jump on the code so as you can see here i create one separate playlist for chatbot chatterbot nlp deep learning first we are going to actually know about what is chatterbot how can you actually use the chatterbot to build one chatbot and and the another part we are actually discussing about the NLP that's called a natural language processing for deep learning. So how can we use the natural language processing to actually make the chatbot in upcoming part? So in this part, we are going to discuss about on the chatbot. So let's get started and jump on the tutorial. So for this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what is Chatterbot and how can you use the Chatterbot library in Python for making Chatbot. So as you can see here, Chatterbot machine learning conversational dialogue engine. And you can also read the documentation from here. So we're going to only focus on the processing flow diagram. So you can see here, it will actually get the input from the user. You can say get input from source, console, you can actually use the console, API, speech recognition, etc. So that's mean in upcoming part, you're going to make one Jarvis or you can say Alexa to actually integrate this chatbot on the Alexa or Jarvis, whatever you can say. Then you can see it process the input based on some logic adapter. So you can see here select a known statement that most closely matches the input statement. So we also, uh, we are going to actually discuss all the things in details. I make sure to do the coding part. And you can see a logic part number adapter number two, and this is closely matched. That's mean how the uh, sentences are mostly uh, correlated each other. Then it actually give me the response based on that. So you can see here return the response on the console API speech synthesis, etc. Okay. So if I go on here, you can see uh, some installation process. So how can I actually install this library on the system? So you can see a pip install chatterbot, and you can also install this library uh, from your GitHub and also you can see here the training part how can the training is processing is done and you can see here some statement here uh, let's say statement number one hello how are you how can i help you and statement number two i would like to buy a mobile ticket that's movie ticket so this is statement three so okay for what for what movie so this is the uh, movie name so this is nothing but one kind of conversations and this is the another conversation so now the question is how the conversation is actually uh, correlated each other so you can see here the graph is stored in the database it actually correlated each other that's mean that uh, this statement are actually correlated each other so you can see here hello how can i help you so you can see here i would like to buy a movie ticket i would like to buy a ticket for a movie but so both are same because this statement are same that is token are almost same so that's mean this is the correct answer okay so based on that you can actually train the chatterbot on our custom data set so now the question is how can you actually install this library just open your command prompt here cmd and type here pip install and the library name is nothing but called chatterbot okay so one thing i need to mention here i am using two versions of python python 3.6 and 3.8 so one more thing that is chatterbot library is only supported on python 3.8 that's been less than 3.8 so i have two versions of python 3.6.5 and another one is 3.8.5 so obviously 3.8.5 is not supported the chatterbot library so what i have to do we need to actually do this code on python 3.6.5 so let's see how it actually look like okay so now you can see here on the screen you can see a python 3.8 this is nothing but python 3.8 so the interpreted name is nothing but python and this interpreted name is nothing but python 3.6 so if i open the command prompt here and type here pip install chatterbot obviously i get an error this error is nothing but chatter error in launcher unable to create process using 
why because i am using multiple version of python so for that what i have to do i need to type here the interpreter name so this is the interpreter of python 3.8 so interpreter name is python and for python 3.6 you can see here interpreter name is python 3.6 so i need to actually mention this interpreter name and underscore m this is for multiple version of python in one local system so m and now you need to type here pip install chatter bot so now it will actually work you can see your requirement already satisfied okay you can see here so that means this library is installed in my system and another library i need to install here so this is called uh chatter bot Karpas. so python 3.6 m pip install and the library name is chatter bot Karpas. so it's also need that and you can see your requirement already satisfied that means this is already installed in my system and another library entity installed here this is called the spasi okay 3.6 and m spasi okay okay sorry for that this is called pip install spasi so this is the main thing you need to focus on that because this is very important you need to install the library otherwise it's not actually work and in some cases in chatterboard library it's not actually like to work on the system so if you got any error, maybe you got some spacy error when actually selecting the language. No problem. I'll be actually discussing all the errors in the last of the videos. Okay. So our spacy is always installed. That's been our install process is done. So now what do you have to do? We need to actually jump on the code. Simple. So let's get started and jump on the code. So all right, guys. So now you can see here, I create a folder called chatbot and inside this folder, actually open the business code. So I'm going to click here to create new Python file. So let's say app.py. Okay, so now you can see your file is created and you can see your Python logo. So now what you have to do is actually import the chatterbot library we actually installed before. So let's say import chatterbot. Okay, so we need the chatbot from chatterbot. So for that, what you have to do is import from chatterbot. I'm going to import the chatbot okay so this one and also you can see here this uh this uh file is actually run on the python 3.6.5 you can also actually uh use the python 3.8.5 just you need to actually get the interpreter path here okay so this is nothing but the current path we are actually using that here okay okay you can see a python 3.8 now and uh let's say enter the interpreter path here find here and it will go on the python 3.6.5 so that's this one on my system 3.6.5 and 3.6.5 minus the interpreter so now the error is resolved so this error is because of in 3 python 3.8.5 we don't install the chat about library so that's why this kind of error so now error is gone because we actually use the python 3.6.5 okay so now what you have to do actually import uh we need to create the chat bot so let's say chat bot and inside this you need to actually put here the chat bot name so let's say my chat bot name is my name chando and let's put in the variable called chat bot okay done so now i need to train the chat bot using some kind of data okay so for that what you have to do you need to actually import some list trainer from the chatter bot so let's say from chatter bot okay from chatterbot we are actually importing which one from trainers so that's mean chatterbot.trainers you can see a trainers i am going to import which one list trainer okay so this is the one kind of list we are going to pass that and this list is trained on that chatbot okay so for that what you have to do you need to actually call here the list trainer and inside this you need to put here the chatbot because we are going to actually uh, train the chatbot based on the list trainer data so now what you have to do is actually uh, import this on a variable so let's say trainer so now our trainer is completed so now we need to train the data so let's say trainer dot train and it will take one list you can see here this is the nothing but call conversations you need to put here conversation quite kind of conversation actually I'm going to put here so now see i'm going to cover again First, you import in the chatterbot, and from chatterbot, you import the chatbot, and from chatterbot, the trainers you import the list trainer because you're going to pass some kind of list in the trainer. And you can see here we are initialize the chatbot as my name, let's say Chando, my name, 
and you put here into variable so now we need to we need to use this chatbot on the list trainer because using this list trainer you actually are retraining the chatbot so we put here the chatbot and trainer now you need to train the chatbot now we need to put here some conversation so let's say hi and our chatbot actually give here let's say hi there okay let's say hi there this kind of things and let's say why we user put here let's say how are you okay so now what you have to do we need to train the data and based on the training data we can actually get some response so let's say chatbot dot get response because here get response it actually give me some kind of response based on the query so let's say i say how are you say how are you sorry how are you so this is my questions so it actually give me some uh, result so let's say result and now we can actually print the result so let's say print the result okay save it i can also run this file from here but it actually give me error because this uh, this uh, run button is actually selected on the python 3.8.5 so for that i will open my terminal new terminal and i'm going to put here the interpreter name so my interpreter name is python 3.6 and let's say main.py no sorry not main.py this is called app.py run so python 3.6 cannot open the app.py file from here so i think we got error so let's close it and see and run the code again okay so on the chatbot let's say python 3.6 and this is nothing but app okay got it we got one error because we actually put here two comma sorry for that so this is app.py now it's done okay so now you can see a list trainer is done and this is nothing but the answer well i'm fine let's mean it actually give me the give me the correct answer so let's say what is your name put into here let's say uh what is your name let's put into here and run the code again let's say copy this control c and pass it on here so now you can see here my name is chindu that's what actually give me the correct answer okay you can also put your any kind of question here any kind of question so based on the logic adapter it will train on some tokens and it actually give you the result so let's say what let's say who created you okay so let's say uh mishu darjindo my name oh sorry man okay and comma and let's save it and run the code again Control s c and Control b and b here okay so now you can see a list training is done my name is chindo okay that's mean it actually give me the uh, correct answer but the question is what is your name okay so now the question is who created you so let's let's run the, let's uh put into here who created you this is nothing but the questions that you're actually asking from the bot pass it here okay so now you can see here my name is Chindo. that's mean our bot is working fine so, but now the problem is our chatbot is running for only one time so what you have to do is actually create one while loop and that should be infinite so let's say while true and this is nothing but our result and this is nothing but our query so let's say query and let's create a variable called query okay our questions so we're going to import uh, from the user so let's say this is called user and based on that it actually give me some result okay this one result and let's say this is uh, given by our chat bot and also we need to actually stop this infinite loop so for that let's say let's say let's say let's say if the query is equal equal exit let's say exit on the chat so we can break the loop okay easy 
So again, run the code and terminal. And now it's time to actually run the code here, Python 3.6 and app.py. Okay, so now you can see our user. Okay, so let's say hi. Oh, sorry, that's my, that's my mistake. Sorry, my bad. We need to actually print the result here. Okay, now it will actually work here. Sorry for my bad. So let's say hi. And say hi there. So let's say hello. And say Mishu Darchindo. That's the error because of the low data. So let's say who created you. Yeah, it's fine. And also you can see here some uh, db.squalite file. This is nothing but actually saving the model in this kind of data uh, directory. Okay, you can also put any kind of data here uh, because there are low, uh, there are low amount of data. So your work is to actually put here some amount of data, let's say 1000, 2000 data based on your question and answer. So it actually give you uh, the correct answer. So now the question is what kind of error uh, it actually you actually got when you run this code for the first time. So when you actually run this code for the first time, you actually get this kind of error. So you actually get this kind of error called cannot find a model EN. It doesn't seem to be shortcut link a Python package or valid part to the data directory. So you can hoin actually download this Parsi and hoin actually import the chatterbot library and hoin you dealing with them, you got this kind of error. So now the question. So now the question is how can we resolve this error? So this is nothing but call language error because you can see our EN, this is nothing but call the English. So how can you resolve that? So just open your command prompt here and type here your interpreter name. So let's say Python 3.6, that's my interpreter name. And Spassy download and core web SL. So you need to download this Spassy module. This is nothing but for the English. So Encore Web SM, it's already installed in my system. I think it will not give me error. So all right, so now you can see your requirement already satisfied. That means it's already installed in my system. So, but how you actually try to link it, Python 3.6 and Spassy link and core web SM EN. So definitely you get one error, but in my case, I am not getting error because you can see a link EN already exit. That's mean I actually do this before. That's why I am not getting this kind of error. You can actually get some kind of error call, uh, maybe uh, for administrator error or maybe permission error, you actually get that. So now the question is how can I actually do that here to resolve this error? So for that, you need to open your command prompt here, type here CMD. So let's say command prompt and right click run at administrator, run here. So now you can see your administrator tab is open. So now you can actually copy the code and paste it on here. Okay, let's copy it, control C and open this administrator. okay so this one and pass it on here enter so you also see here link en is already exit but in your case it linked here but if it not actually linked on here in my case it's all installed so that's why not actually giving me the error but in your case it definitely give you error but how you actually use this administrator tab and your problem is resolved and you are actually using this chatbot library to making the chatbot easily so this is the video, hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and the part number two, you are going to actually discuss about that. How can you actually use a chatter about Carpels and all the things uh, regarding that and we're going to try to build the web application also. So till then, take care and bye bye.